x times y prime minus 2y equals 2 times x to the fourth. The first thing we need to do is to put the given equation into the general form, which we have already written on our board in red and boxed. So assuming that x is equal to 0, we can divide both left and right sides of this equation and obtain the following. y prime minus 2 over x times y equals 2x cubed. Now we have our equation in the general form. And we can make a substitution y equals u times v. We also remember that y prime equals u prime v plus v prime u. And now let's substitute these two expressions into our equation. So we'll have u prime times v plus v prime times u minus 2 over x times u times v equals 2x cubed. We can factor out u on our left. So we'll have u prime v plus u times v prime minus 2 over x times v equals 2x cubed. We're choosing the v function such that the expression within these brackets equals 0. So this is another equation to solve. v prime minus 2 over x times v equals 0. Or we can also write it as dv over dx minus 2 over x v equals 0 dv over dx equals 2 over x times v and this is an equation with separable variables. So we'll have dv over v equals dx over x multiplied by 2. And integrating both the left and the right sides we'll obtain ln v equals times ln of x and plus the constant or we can write the logarithm of a constant. Also recalling some of the properties of the logarithm we can write the following ln of x squared plus ln of the constant which is also equal to ln of x squared times the constant. And then finally, we can find the v function. And 
I'm running out of space. <clears throat> Which is not a problem. So I'll integrate both the left and the right sides of this uh, equation and obtain u equals 1 over c sub 1 times x squared plus another constant. I should have written it down a little bit higher, so let me just write it one more time. So our u function equals 1 over c sub 1 times x squared plus c sub 2. multiply these two functions in order to return to the y function. So we have y equal to u times v. Or let me write it somewhere in the left corner. So we have y equals u times v. And we found the expressions for the u and v functions. So we go 1 over c sub 1 times x squared plus c sub 2 and then multiply it by x squared and by c sub 1. And we can multiply the expression within the brackets by this constant c sub 1 and obtain x squared plus c sub 1 times c sub 2 times x squared we can also denote this constant right here as, say, c, with null index. And so our final answer would be x to the fourth plus the constant multiplied by x squared.